Holy smokes, guys. My mind is blown. We just got the most insane leak I've ever seen for the MacBook Pro. Believe it or not, there was an iOS 18 leak that just got revealed that shows that Apple was testing unreleased 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models with code names J514D and J516D. Now, the mind blowing thing about those code names is that the D suffix is currently being used for the M3 Ultra Mac Studio and it has never been used for a MacBook Pro before. So this essentially confirms that Apple tested the M3 Ultra chip on both the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models, which is absolutely Absolutely insane. Can you believe it? The Ultra chip in a MacBook Pro. I never even considered this being an option for multiple reasons like um, overheating, duh, on this super thin, I mean relatively thin and light laptop. I mean Ultra chip, that's insane. But the more I started to dig into the details and really think about it, the more this could actually make sense and I'll explain why in this video. Now, in terms of the M3 Ultra chip landing in a MacBook Pro and launching, that ship has sailed. That's why I have the M4 Ultra wallpaper on here because we know we already have the M4 Max. This is an M4 Max MacBook Pro, so they obviously are not gonna release the M3 Ultra MacBook Pros anymore, but the most important piece of info is that Apple was actually testing it, which means that they are, in fact, considering putting a Monster Ultra chip in their MacBook Pros, and the ramifications of that are just insane. Just look at the performance of the M3 Ultra chip compared to, let's say, this M4 Max MacBook Pro. Look at all of these different ways that it absolutely destroys it in performance in so many different apps, benchmarks, and even the real world apps that we use every day. It's absolutely insane, this performance. So if Apple puts in, let's say, the M4 Ultra chip in the MacBook Pro, it'll literally be marketed it as the world's fastest laptop ever made by a long shot. It won't even be close. People would pay crazy amounts of money for that ultra chip upgrade. So the big idea is that Apple could be working on the M4 Ultra chip, which has not been revealed yet. We thought it would, but Apple just skimped out, gave us the M3 Ultra. They figured they could stretch it out a little bit, or maybe the M4 Ultra wasn't ready. But let's say Apple's working on that, and they're planning to put it into the MacBook Pro. Is that insane, or is it genius? At this point, I think it's more likely to be seen as insane because I think it'll still get too hot. Why? Well, because Apple is still using three nanometer chip technology, which is actually at the end of the timeline of FinFET process tech that they've been using for a very, very long time. And I think it still is too hot and overheating would be a major issue with an M4 Ultra in this chassis. But what I think would actually be genius is either the M5 or M6 Ultra chip, that makes a lot more sense. Whichever one comes with the brand new two nanometer Gaffet chip technology from TSMC. Now, if you don't know what Gaffet is, it's basically a brand new method to have a more efficient transistor with better performance per watt. And one of the main features is having a lot less power leakage, which is happening right now with a lot of the FinFET chips as they're trying to shrink them smaller and smaller and smaller. But the main limitation now is power leakage when you get to transistors that are that small, which Gaffet technology actually fixes. So they're gonna be more efficient, there's gonna be less heat to handle and take care of, so it's gonna be easier to keep cool, and there's gonna be a lot more performance. And with that brand new two nanometer chip technology, we could easily see the Ultra chip finally coming to the MacBook Pro, which would be a game changer and just might be enough to get a lot of you guys out there to wait a couple more years to upgrade, which 
Honestly, right now, the M4 Max is very, very fast. It's more than good enough for most people, but if you have upgraded pretty recently, it might be worth waiting. Of course, at this point, it's just a leak. Apple has been confirmed to be testing the Ultra, but who knows, they may never put it in. But let's hope for the best. Now, one of the things people say about the issue of Apple doing that is that it might cannibalize the sales of the Ultra-chipped Mac Studio. But in my opinion, it actually doesn't really matter that much because Apple's main money maker on the Mac side is by far their MacBooks and the MacBook Pro. Because if you think about it, the people who want a desktop PC setup, they're gonna continue to buy the Mac Mini and the Mac Studio regardless of the chips. They just want a desktop setup to stay there on their desk. But Apple sells so many more MacBook Pros that it makes sense to give it the best possible chip they can and charge a very hefty price to upgrade. So high-end users are gonna be likely to continue to pay more for it. And now let's get to the part where it's gonna be absolutely genius for Apple to do this. And that is AI workloads and LLMs. This would be by far the best laptop ever made for running AI and local LLMs. People are gonna pay insane amounts of money for a laptop like this with an ultra chip that has that much bandwidth with memory and performance. And if you've noticed recently, the trend of going more and more into AI is just crazy right now, especially with the announcements from Google at Google I.O. and with the um, Johnny Ive, with ChatGPT collaboration and everything else, the trend is going towards AI. So it would be genius for Apple to pack in an ultra chip and sell it for a high price and people are gonna pay. Now, of course, there are a lot of other huge benefits like, first of all, video editing with those extra encoders double being by far the fastest laptop for video editing and exporting ever. Of course, there's faster CPU processing. There's much faster 3D rendering like in Blender. The benefits are gonna be just insane. So while right now it seems absolutely insane for Apple to test it and do this with an ultra chip, I think it actually makes total sense for Apple to make an ultra chip powered MacBook Pro. Maybe not the M4 Ultra, but the M5 or M6 Ultra, that would be a huge winner. And it would basically mean that Apple will continue to hold their crown of having the world's fastest laptop with basically the highest build quality and the best resale value. And that right there is how Apple stays on top. This is absolutely genius. So with that said, let me know your thoughts on all of this an ultra powered MacBook Pro down in the comment section below and subscribe above for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.